It's the end of the week, a Wong Fu week. It's Wong Fu weekends. So I think during this time of year, um, you know, people get a little nostalgic and you spend a lot of time with family. You think about, you know, when you're younger. So we had this idea to show you guys pictures from when we were little kids. Because you know who we are now, sort of, but you don't really know who we were. 20 years ago. I just found some random Asian kids photo. <laughs> we could show you random pictures of any Asian kid you guys probably wouldn't know. We're gonna start with um, the youngest photo that we have of ourselves. Well, this photo isn't the youngest photo that exists of me, but it's the youngest that I have here in LA. This um, is what he looked like when he popped out of the room. <laughs> yeah, I popped out of the room holding a balloon in my mom's arms. Um, but that's me. I'm guessing Sometime like within my first year because I'm being held so I can't walk You're kind of fat. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see who's who's fat. Yeah, you could fit in that balloon I probably could actually like I, I know I think that's a very large balloon, but uh, I'm pretty cute, right? That's, that's okay. <laughs> I have no idea where this is. This, I have no idea why I'm holding a balloon. This girl is looking at you very strangely like she's checking my like, butt. She's never seen an Asian baby before. She's checking my cute butt. Why are you laughing? This is me when I was one. I'm very cute, I have awesome hair. <laughs> You're like a Dragon Ball character. I think most kids have a picture that's exactly like this. Ted, where did, where did the cheeks go? I don't see any Ted in that. I really think you did just take a uh, random Asian babies. Maybe I did. <laughs> Mine, uh, I went way back. This is uh, at some ungodly age that I don't remember. Um, I see it though. I totally see. Your eyes have not changed. Though. Eyes haven't changed. Eyes my haven't changed. my teeth. I look like a rabbit. Your joyful face is definitely I'm just happy to be clean. <laughs> now are you completely naked in this photo? Where are the abs? Where are the abs. <laughs> the abs are. Man, you guys aren't ready for the abs. <laughs> I haven't seen Wes smile like that in. I ever. I don't think ever any <laughs> of us smile like this anymore. <laughs> is that the sound of me? <laughs> A few years later, I have some hair. That is such a good photo. You're fat. I'm fat. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit it, I'm fat in this. Camera adds 10 pounds. But my dad was really into photography, so, <laughs> so I'm very happy that he like took a very good photo. You're, you're gonna see as, as the rest of this episode goes on that all of Wes's photos are super nice and all of ours are really crap because his dad was using like pro cameras. Speaking of fat babies, here's a fat baby. I'm just chilling on my ride, it's my first ride. <laughs> and if you look in close, I'm actually drooling. Because you're really happy to be. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of driving position is that? It feels like. I think you've had that weight since then. <laughs> and it hasn't changed. It just gets taller. <laughs> you've just been stretched out. So here's me, a little older now. I'm walking, and I've got a toy. Do you guys have, do you guys recognize this toy? No. Uh, no. no. <laughs> um, it was probably from the Salvation Army or some hand-me-down. We didn't get these fancy toys. Okay, so if we're talking about playing with things, uh, this was a playground that was near my house. So artistic, Dude, you got, black and white. I, what the heck, man? Um, I would um, swing in the tire and carry and do that, have a stick and then draw in the sand as I was singing, uh, swinging. Whatever, dude. You know, you know that for this photo, Wes is like, I hope he's gonna get a good shot. I'm just gonna keep looking at in this angle. Drop the chin. Good. good really, Wes. All right. This is me. My other ride. Are you mimicking it? <laughs> Are you trying to mimic it? This is so fierce. Maybe. It's an ostrich. You're, you're still doing the same stance. Dude, Ted. Like Ted. this thing. Ted. You're chubby. He keeps making fun of Ted being fat. No, it's because he's so skinny now. No, I think you're cute though. I, I've seen that face before. I've seen that face. I can't really talk about being fat. When I was younger, I was known for my cheeks. I think it's very evident here. Look at that I smile. Think, is that Burger King? Yes. What is that? <laughs> that is why you're chubby. <laughs> you guys went to Burger King. But to get a crown. Look how happy he is. I'm so happy with my crown. So, kids, I would like to introduce you to this thing called a Polaroid. The thing that your app tries to make your photos look like, like a square, one by one. Um, this is how we actually used to take photos. You look very um, like a good, a I, good boy. I was a very good baby. My my mom used said she used to just leave me on the couch and she could go cook like dinner and I, she'd come back and I would still be. Sleeping. We can neither confirm nor deny that. So I'd just be like, 
See you. <laughs> Speaking of Stalin, look at this. Look at this. Look at wow. this young chap. Oh look my god! I didn't know how to do a tie until like last week. Would that be a lyric? Ted, did you do, do this tie? Of course I did. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Wait, Ted, I didn't have collared shirts or anything. I know. Yeah, you were wearing. You were fancy. I didn't wear a collared shirt for a very long time. I think I'm holding chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Explains why. <laughs> Are you truly <laughs> for the chocolate? Well, if we want to compare fanciness, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure you can't compete with this. Okay? Bow tie. Wow. Red bow tie. No, red one. I okay? I can't compete with that. <laughs> no, press. <laughs> no, presents. Wait, and you, can, you, can, you can tell all the presents are books. Asian Christmas. Teacher SAT books. <laughs> Alright, if we're on the topic of style, I, I was once very colorful. Um, that has all gone away now. But this is a, just a candid shot of what I, I got. Yellows. That's not a candid shot, that's like a freaking headshot. I got yellows, reds, uh, there's a little bit of blue in there, I think. You're the primary colors, man. This one, plaid, I was up on that like way before. <laughs> you know, red plaid. Those are really short shorts, man. At the beach. Overalls and turtleneck was Dude, my Dude, this is like a magazine photo. O yeah. Overalls and turtleneck was was actually my outfit a lot. I, I remember these were Oshkosh Pagosh. <laughs> Going back to the topic of cool rides, um, this is me on a horse um, that's not alive and that doesn't really move, it just bounces. But do you guys do you guys ever have these toys or this yes, this yes, toy? Yes, yes. Playground. I remember Playground. that. You it's have actually, to watch and not pinch yourself. Yeah, else. dude, it's super, super dangerous. Speaking like of it. rides, um, I think this this might be my first plane ride. That's a huge plane. Yeah, no, it's just really small. Well, this is right. This is my first like jetliner plane plane ride to China. Somewhere. Why you so, why you look like such a douchebag? You're like yo yo check out. Look, I, I got bottles, I got orange juice in my plane. I didn't get to ride a plane until third grade. This was my first time skiing. And uh, I actually haven't been skiing since this day, I think. This was the first and last time I was in, in the ocean. Oh my gosh. I it, haven't been in the ocean since. Are you serious? Yes. You have a freaking farmer's stand. Born that way. <laughs> it's camouflage. Like many uh, Asian kids, uh, I was forced into playing an instrument. Piano was uh, a major one, so here's, here's one of me posing by the piano. I probably didn't want to be sitting there because I really hated it. Here's another one. Really, really happy. I think my mom told me to smile that big. I played piano for like 11 years and I have very little to show for it. Like a bratty kid. Yeah, you look a little mischievous. Yeah. Oh, this is a bratty kid. That's a bratty kid. <laughs> That's an awkward stage kid. This is the kid that I was like told, you know, don't don't hang around him too much. He's too wild. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a play that we're doing for Tiki Tiki Tempo. Do you guys remember that? I like this. This is a side of Ted that I don't see much of. Blowing bubbles. So when he's not um, riding in his um, whip, he likes to just relax, blow some bubbles on the field. Speaking of bubbles. They were a very hot item back then. I chose not to be the creator of the bubbles. I let the wind create the bubbles, and I just observe. Meanwhile, I'm playing with my very first Nerf gun. This is my probably like seventh birthday, ninth birthday, and uh, that's the Nerf sharpshooter. It was the first Nerf gun that had suction cup darts. I remember that one. Yep, I wanted that. And I'm wearing. I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm wearing Bugle Boy, cause, <laughs> cause they were they were really cool back then. While Phil was playing with his Nerf guns and Ted, you were. I was just... dressing in pink. <laughs> oh and dancing, <laughs> clapping. While you were dressing. <laughs> this is part of what? a school program. It's it's part of a play, okay? I was also in pink dancing too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what? <the heck? laughs> what? We were both in pink. Um, Dancing in a school program. Um, Miles apart. I didn't dress in pink. I just battled crayfish with a wooden branch. That's what I was doing by myself. Dude, you're a bully kid. You're talking about who no. It's the it's the, like Pokemon. You're like no. You're it's like, like Pokemon. I was like trying to to capture it. Yeah, that's right. That's me. 
in, model our, pose. in my red jacket. Just living life on the edge like that. When I wasn't doing that, I was actually very outdoorsy. Our, our family took a lot of trips. Uh, oh, yeah. We went uh, camping a lot. This is a series, um, an excerpt of the series of me and my brother looking for animals and insects. This happened a lot. Um, he would just go off and I would follow him. We would like dig up, you know, under rocks, um, tree branches, and just look for bugs. Hey Wes, can I play too? See, I have a net. And sometimes we would get lucky and we would find a beetle and we would just look at it. Hey, look, we're looking too. I'm, look, I'm looking for stuff too. <laughs> I enjoyed putting animals on my hands and arms. I did this a lot. I don't have any bug photos. All right, so this is very, very personal. But this is me when I took ballet. And there's a perfectly good reason why I took ballet. First of all, look at all the girls I got. That's me with a, just a ton of girls. So the reason why is because I was pigeon-toed when I was a kid, and the doctor said you have two options. You either you can put the shoes on opposite feet or send them to ballet. And my mom saw another opportunity for an extracurricular activity. This last one is uh, this is our first. Uh, video camera. You can't see my face, but this is when I, I, I like playing with it and I feel like it uh, makes sense for uh, what we're doing now. Ted, why didn't you show this one? Such a good student! It's Such a good boy! actually when I was in Taiwan. I think that was like second grade. Alright, we we're have we gonna end on, on these photos from Ted that he didn't want to share. What? But, um, so we all remember this photo, right? It all started way back with this one. <laughs> Look, it's the same thing. He's I like, know, I didn't know that was your pose. I'm just chilling. <laughs> chilling. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this look into uh, our past. And we actually have a lot of photos that we didn't even show. Maybe this will be a series. This was like baby to elementary school. Maybe next time we'll do middle school to high school. I'm on an ostrich. That's all you need to know. Thanks guys, hope you guys have a happy holiday. See you next week. Check out my thighs. I was also in pink dancing too. Yes. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We were both in pink um, dancing in a school program. Um, Miles apart. <laughs>